What's up guys, Dark Dally here, doing a little import export in GTA Online today. And I figure I will share some of my tips and tricks that my friend and I have figured out in getting these cars. I've delivered uh, right there, it says, yeah, a little over 300 cars, so um, we've pretty much, we've done all the missions like 20 times each. And I definitely figured some of the quicker ways to do some of this stuff. So, well, let's get right to it. Let's go down here and see which one we get. Okay, so we got an X80 Proto. Now, I only get top range cars. I don't know if you know this, you may not. If you have 10 standard and 10 mid range cars in your vehicle warehouse, then as long as you keep those 20 cars there, you will only get missions for top range. So that guarantees everything's a top range mission. So those are the only cars that I'm going after. Now, when I first get the mission, the first thing I look at is, okay, it's an X80 Proto. The reason, you know, it matters what car you're getting is because if it's a slower car, like for instance, okay, one moment so here. this vehicle's been involved in an altercation of some kind. Okay, so I got one of the easy ones. If you get one of the slower cars, like a Sterling, God forbid, a Valor, or those are really the only cars you got to worry about as far as top range. Uh, Mid-range and, and standard, I, I forget. I remember the Omnis is really slow and annoying. But if you get one of the slow cars, I always pay attention to what mission it is because you might want to plan for something different, you know. You don't want to get caught driving a Sterling for five miles on the freeway because you're going to have those, you know, if you have the guys chasing you, they're going to be slamming into the back of your car the entire way. I can't count how many Valors I've delivered with over 10,000 in damage. So I always look at the car. I'm going to start off and see, okay, you know, what is it and plan for a contingency. If, you know, it's the time trial mission and the car is a Valor, I'm going to want to find a cargo bob and see if I can make that a little easier. You know, or if it's actually the time trial mission, I guess the cargo bob would not be the way to go because you have to drive there in a car. So I, that was a bad example. In that case, I would plan to eliminate the guys chasing me. Now, usually I don't. And I've seen some people on YouTube videos say if you get the guys chasing you, that you want to kill them, you know, three to four waves of them. And that way they won't shoot up your car. I don't think it's worth the time or the ammunition to do that when you're usually only looking at a couple grand in damage. But that's why I say look at what kind of car it is. If it's like a Valor or a Sterling, something that's going to be really slow, then yeah, it's going to be worth it. So anyway, on to the task at hand. This is the mission. Okay, if they say an, alter if they say an altercation or that this car has been involved in something pretty nasty, those are the two um, phrases that she'll use. It's kind of like the DUI stop, only just a little more. It means there's going to be, I think there's four, I think there's four cops here. And I used to do this in the Karuma, but really, as long as you got some body armor, it's easier just to run up, take care of the guys, try not to shoot the car. And then usually what I do is, while I'm getting in the car, I go ahead, pull up my phone, call Lester, and try to minimize the damage under the car. What can I do for you? Okay, and yeah, so this one is, trouble, we got a pretty easy help. one. There's really, there's okay, no okay. real trick to this one. It's just doing that and trying not to hit the cops on the way back because if you do bump into one of those cops, you'll get all three of your stars back instantly. Now, if that happens and you can't call Lester again because of, he's on cooldown, the best thing to do is get out of your car. If you get your, if you get your police, raiding back get out of your car kill yourself you know let them kill you or yeah just kill yourself whatever and then get back and you know that'll take away your stars when you respawn then get back in the car and, and drive back you don't want to do you know any more damage to the car than is absolutely necessary so i guess that's about it for this one this one's really really easy this one and the DUI stops so you know if your system calls you and says this car has been involved in an altercation of some kind or if she calls and tells you this vehicle's been involved in something pretty nasty it's gonna be that one with the uh, four or five cops that you got to kill if she calls you and says DUI or routine traffic stop you know that one's easy that there there's only two cops and yeah I know where there's someone following me it's only me and my friends on this particular session, so I'm not worried about anyone killing me. 
So guys, I'm going to start doing some videos on these. I may as well. I spent so much time since Import-Export came out. <laughs> Oops. Stealing these cars and learning all of the, the tricks and, and whatnot of how to get them. And believe me, we've found some really interesting ways to make some of these really streamlined and really easy. And if you do this right, you can make a few hundred thousand an hour. I usually make, when I do this all day, well, a couple million in a day. One day I logged in after dinner and made, um, I wanted that new Itali GTB right when it came out the other day. And I actually logged in after dinner with no money and bought and modified the GTB before I went to bed. So that was, you know, like a million and a half right there just after dinner. So you can make a lot of money doing these import-export and I'll be doing some more of these coming up, mixed in with my videos on Fallout and probably other games. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more stuff. You know, usually I do Fallout. I'm also doing Grand Theft Auto now and all kinds of things. My name is Dark Dally. I will catch you guys next time.